This video is part of a series showing standard installation of Hunter Panels XCI Polyiso in conjunction with various brick veneer anchors. This video will illustrate base plates being mounted in a vertical orientation. The plates are mechanically attached back to the base wall and the Hunter XCI Polyiso is then installed between these plates. Install the base plates per the manufacturer's instructions by directly screwing through the WRB, if present, and gypsum into the stud. Depending on the plate manufacturer's engineering requirements, the spacing between plates may vary. Typical spacing requirements are 16 inches or 24 inches on center. Next, install the XCI foil polyiso insulation by impaling it onto the masonry anchors. Press the board against the ties to make an impression of their locations. The polyiso is cut and the ties come through when the board is pushed tightly against the gypsum sheathing. Where you see the impression starting to come through the polyiso board, use a knife to cut a slit for the plate to come through as needed. Press the polyiso board firmly against the gypsum to ensure a tight fit. Hunter XCI Barabond is a high solids silane terminated polyether or STPE based compound used for detailing penetrations, sheathing joints and other critical details in continuous insulation systems. Here we show XCI Barabond being applied in the joints between pieces of polyiso. This single component moisture cured adhesive sealant is applied with a sausage caulking gun. When applying XCI Barabond between panels as shown in this example, it is important to have a continuous bead application so that when the foam pieces butt snugly together, a good seal is achieved. As this process continues up the wall, it is recommended to stagger the joints and seams for each row of polyiso being installed to minimize the potential for thermal, air, or water intrusion. Proper sealing of seams is required if the polyiso insulation will also serve air or water barrier functions. If the polyiso will serve only as the insulation layer and a separate barrier is used, sealing of seams may not be required. After applying XCI Barabond onto masonry anchors, attach ties onto plates. Use of joint treatments is at the discretion of the specifier. If the polyiso is being utilized as an air or water barrier, it is recommended to seal all cuts and penetrations with XCI Barabond. Barabond may also be used for further sealing under the masonry anchors. When sealed seams are desired, numerous options are available, including tapes, liquid sealants, and single component spray foams. Tapes will be applied to the exterior surface of the polyiso insulation. Single component spray foams will be applied between boards and liquid sealants can be applied either between boards or on the exterior surface of the insulation. For more information, please visit hunterpanels.com, installpolyiso.com or call 888-746-111 for.